Hello folks and welcome on board on this one beautiful March spring day. The geese are flying north, the birds are twittering and singing, so I guess spring is here. Well we hope so. More to that after the intro. So what's been going on? Oh, well I haven't done any filming since uh, January, which is quite a shame. The weather's been atrocious, but uh, the spring seems to be pushing through, which is very nice. Now, as you see, I have a new camera. Hello. I'll ask you to bear with me on that one because I don't know how the camera setup is yet. I haven't tried it out, so I hope that's okay. And I hope the uh, I hope the audio is okay on the Sunny as well. I've changed that a bit. So what have I decided to do? Well, <laughs> right, a lot of motorbikes out today. An awful lot of motorbikes. Well, um, I play a game called EVE Online. Maybe some of you know it, maybe some of you don't. I've been playing it for years. Anyway, I was chatting in there, because we've got a chat room, I was chatting away there about um, what you sort of do on your time off, on your weekends. Well, I like to do a lot of motorbike riding if I can if I get the time and if the weather's okay and uh, explain that I also have a YouTube channel oh you have a YouTube channel well let's have a look let's have a look so <laughs> I do now have um, quite a few German subscribers which is very nice but unfortunately some of them don't really speak all that good English so they don't understand a word I'm talking about with them out. <laughs> Get on and learn English, guys. No, 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 really. So what I decided to do is I might mix it up a little bit. A little bit of German, a little bit of English. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Could be fun. Could be fun for me too. Oh yeah, just pull around in front of me, why not? Yeah, I'm taking it a bit easy today because um, I haven't been out for some time and you do get a, bit, a little bit rusty so uh, just taking it nice and easy, nice stroll down the Elbe River if you like as you can see, or maybe not see, in the middle of the road there's a lot of dirt so I suppose the tractors are running around again not to worry, we can take all this. So yeah, a lot of new stuff on the bike, which I haven't even tried out yet. On the bike. The hand guards, for instance, I only recently did that. If you've been following me, you'll have seen the film of me actually uh, fitting them. SW Motec hand guards, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Oh, there's some lovely corners. Yeah. Might be slow boating it down here, but um, as you're only allowed to do a certain speed here, you have to. <coughs> Excuse me. To meine deutsche Freunde. Willkommen auf meine Kanal. 
Ich freue mich, dass ihr ja abonniert habt. Ich freue mich sogar sehr. Also gibt es ab und zu mal zwischendrin etwas Deutsch zu hören. Hallo Franzi! <lacht> Hallo Rainer! And whoever else is out there. Oh no, this is what you call slow boat, yeah. I don't mind going slow, but this is bloody ridiculous. I hate to say it, it's a woman driver. What else? Oh, I should get rid of her quickly, I think. <clears throat> well, it was, uh, as Kramelder once said, Kramelder 24, Hi mate, alright? <coughs> he did a nice little video why um, bikers overtake cars. Because if a lot of car drivers don't actually realise, I think we just want to be at the front all the time. Well, I suppose we do a bit, but uh, it's not only that. Because of the turbulence you get behind a car, there's something you will never realise in a car. You don't get turbulence. What a beautiful day! 14 degrees. No, 13 degrees, okay, I lied. So all the same, it's a lovely day. Spring is on its way, although I've heard on the forecast next week is going to be colder again, and probably wet. Oh well. Today's the day. Wir lieben in der Gegenwart und nicht in der Zukunft und auch nicht in der Vergangenheit say that in English we live in the present not the future and not the past so enjoy the moment which is exactly what I'm doing at the moment <laughs> but I'll bet you anything I'll bet you when I get up here there's a bloody roadblock again guaranteed it always happens to me as far as the model railway is concerned. <coughs> Excuse me, got a dry throat. I'm getting on with that, but I'm having a bit of a problem. And that's the motorbikes themselves. Unfortunately, the people who uh, make these model bikes for the model railway seem to think um, everybody has an old timer. I haven't got hardly any modern bikes at all. I'm not able to uh, do a couple of bikes that I'd like to have done. Spicy 110, for instance. He drives the Yamaha Diversion. I just can't uh, replicate that bike because I just haven't got the model for it. This is really annoying me. I've looked everywhere. So if any of you people out there do anything about modeling, and the ratio of 1 to 87, I need motorbikes. <coughs> so if anybody knows anywhere where I can get them, please do tell. Or even send me them if you want. Yeah, apart from that, um, I've got the first six done, including myself, of course. And I hope to be making a film about that uh, shortly. Just doing the last painting on them. Bex 88, your bike was a pain in the butt. A real pain in the butt. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried converting a bloody Triumph Bonneville to a Honda Hornet? It's just about impossible. But I wouldn't be Bulldog Gaz if I couldn't do that. I was just thinking actually, I uh, said in one of my videos I don't like having anything on the handlebars apart from what should be on there. And in the meantime, look at this bloody mess. So for my uh, Deutsche Freunde, my Abonnenten, die nicht von Norden kommen, was man hier links sieht, 
Das ist der größte Obstbaugebiet in Nordeuropa. Auch der nördlichste. Mhm. Von da bis da. <lacht> Ganz schön viel Bäume. Wir fahren jetzt Richtung Lühe. Lühe ist ein Anlieger an der Elbe. Und da gibt es ein Motorradtreffen. Da bin ich immer wieder mal ganz gerne. Heute dürfte ja ganz schön viel los sein. Da wollen wir mal gucken. Mal Kaffee trinken, mal Wurst essen oder irgendwie so. So, do tell me what you think about the German-English thing. I know you English don't understand it, but um, I thought it might be a good idea just um, now and again just to uh, change over to German and speak a bit German for my German fans. Hello. I'm glad to say, well up till now, no roadblocks. Well, I probably jinxed it now. There's probably a roadblock up here. Check everything's still recording. Yeah. Should be alright. Might have to change the batteries when I get to Louis. It's that daily faffing around with cameras. So it's good fun. I enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy it. Oh, a big group here. So I expect it's going to be quite busy in Lua. That's good, we get to see some motorbikes. bikes. This is not a lovely little ride. I hope you're enjoying it. Because I am. Talking to cameras. I'd like all the same cameras, the same as this one here. New Sony AS200. So if I had three cameras of all the same sort, I only need one remote control and I can start them and stop them all together. Because synchronizing the films afterwards is a pain in the butt. And that way I could uh, let all three films run at the same time and pick the pieces out that I wanted. So if anybody's got a Sunny AS200 laying around that they don't need, please do tell me. And if you want to get rid of it, I'll buy it off you. Of course it would be nice to have all the newest cameras from Sunny, the uh, 3000, they're apparently very very good. Yeah, so that would be nice. Oh yes, there's a lot going on today, oh yes. So people, coffee and bratwurst and a lot of motorbikes. Yeah, they're all out today. It's probably been the warmest day that we've had for ages. So with no further ado, let's ride back home. Oh, it's just lovely to get back on the bike again. Shall we find new indicators? And off we go. Get through a green here. Oh, lovely job. Come on in, get your car around the corner. <coughs> like I said, Sunday afternoon. And Sunday drivers. Like this one. Anybody who's been following me on Instagram or be watching my films, which would be very, very nice if you do. 
I should be coming over to England this year. To be precise, on the 27th of May. And I should be returning to Germany on the 6th of June. Remember those dates. So anybody interested on meeting me, any of my uh, subscribers or anyone else for that matter, I don't mind. There's a chance. On Sunday the 3rd of June, um, there should be, I hope, a meetup at Lumi's at round about lunchtime. So, I shall be uh, staying with my sister in Hythe, Hythe, that's Hythe, Hampshire, not Hythe, Kent, in the New Forest. And it's going to be a busy week, or a busy 10 days, I know that now. And uh, I know, unfortunately, a lot of you have to work, I'm on holiday and you've got to work, so uh, Meeting up during the week is going to be difficult. But if any of you um, do want to meet up and go out for a ride out, like I say, I'm in the New Forest area, and I'm quite willing to do a couple of hundred miles, no problem. So anybody who wants to meet up in the week, on the week after the 27th of May, Monday, Tuesday is already booked up, so I've got Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. If anybody has any time and wants to go out for a ride out, do get in touch, tell me. Maybe we can meet up and go for a ride out, somewhere in your area, wherever you are. As long as it's not up in Yorkshire. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to ride up that far. Or maybe a meet up in the week at the Ace Cafe in London. Who knows? Let's see what comes. So I'm being the good guy that I am. I'm having a trailer for two bikes. I give Andy Mancam a ring up. I said, hey mate, um, I'm going over to England and then and then, on that day and that day, and I'm coming back on that day and that day, and I've got a trailer for two bikes. Would you like to join me? And without hesitating, a couple of hours, but practically without hesitating, he booked his ferry. We're hoping to meet up on the Sunday for the meet up in uh, Lumi's. So I should be riding down from Dorchester. That's not the South Dorchester, that's the North Dorchester. I'm hoping to meeting up there on Sunday and riding down to Lumi's with him. And we're hoping to get there round about lunchtime. Probably be 12, one o'clock, something like that. And we're hoping for good weather, of course, so we uh, get the old five pences in the old meter and do a couple of sun dances for us, so that when we come over we get nice weather. So, liebe Leute, im Fall, dass ihr das nicht mitbekommen habt, das war Lühe Anleger an der Elbe. Das ist ja so ein typischer Motorrad-Treffpunkt, vor allem an einem Tag wie heute. Was haben wir jetzt? 13 Grad. Das ist ja fast sommerlich, Leute. Es ist ja fast sommerlich. Meine Güte. Und nach der ziemlich harten Winter konnte ein schöner Sommer folgen. Haben wir ja öfters. Oh, come on, man. Get over. Be a nice chappy. Ah, uh, old man on his uh, cruiser with his wife on his back, she's probably digging him on the side all the time. Don't drive too fast, don't drive too fast. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what the hell. I'm chin wagging away about anything and nothing today, aren't I? Make it always turn off, can't you? And aren't I a lucky boy today? No road works. I do not believe it. 
no roadworks, no diversions. At long last, I can take a ride out without being diverted somewhere I don't want to go. For euch nicht nur Deutschen, das hier ist ja eine Schiffswurft. Falls ich es nicht so erkannt habe, deswegen der große Kran da. Und ab und zu mal geht die Brücke hoch. Und ich hatte das ja lange Zeit unter Reparatur, weil er ja ständig kaputt war. Passiert mal. Aber war etwas nervig. Too busy looking at his bloody GPS. Plonker. Nothing talks here. Oh, maybe we've got a bit of uh, road freedom here. That would be nice. Beautiful little stretch. <laughs> oh, we do have corners in North Germany. We do have bendies. Only if it's a few, but all the same. And I actually had a free run this time. Ooh. I wonder what that's going to be when it's finished. Big garage. Well, that was the rain. Got about six drops on my visor, so that's okay. Really love it. And this here is going to be the new motorway. And when that's finished, my house should go up in value, which would be quite nice. And I'm far enough away from it that I don't have to worry about it. Also very nice. I am just lapping this up. Yes, so I guess that's about it today. I'll wrap this one up in a box and send it to YouTube. By the way, the new helmet's brilliant too. I forgot to mention that. So anyway. I'm going to park up my bike in the shed and that uh, was that for the day get this film edited see how good or bad it is I wish you lot all the best and I'll see you in the next film bye